okay guys so to start off with just choose your base color i'm using this brownish kind of color and also i just forgot the name of the brush so just look at the icon that is selected on the screen and use the similar brush otherwise i will be giving you guys name of the brushes down in the description so what you have to do is you have to start creating these um, hair like strokes also make sure to increase the predictive stroke by four they'll they'll just help you to create really smooth hair strokes so here what i'm doing is using the same brush and i'm not really increasing or decreasing opacity i'm just using the same opacity i am creating some thicker hair strands and some thinner ones so basically just lay down thicker ones first and over them uh, start drawing these really thin looking hair strokes and uh, you can just play around with the pressure sensitivity and that will be really really helpful uh, to kind of make sure you are putting less pressure when you want to have a really light looking hair strands and put more pressure when you want it to look really pigmented and dark so that's what I'm doing filling the whole thing up with the hair strokes I actually changed the background color because I like pink background and in the next step what you want to do is you want to pick up this brush again just look at the icon that is selected I'll be giving you guys the name of the brush down in the description so what you have to do is you can either go ahead and use a lighter version of the base color or you can use white color so in procreate what I basically do is I use luminance brushes to uh, to do this step it actually illuminates the base color and it looks good you can also use a, the glow brush that sketchbook has but here I'm just using this brush this is also some sort of airbrush I'll be giving you guys the name of this brush in the description so I'm basically just creating really really thin hair strokes over the whole base with really light color a light it can be a light color of the base color or it can be a white color straight up but i just suggest you know not keeping it white now once you have created those really thin hair strands you want to pick up some smudge brush you can pick up any smudge brush of your liking make sure the opacity is really low because these are really kind of pigmented i should say you don't want to use colorless brushes and if you don't know the difference between smudge brush and colorless brush then i will be linking a video i actually created a few months back where i actually explain you guys the difference between smudge brush and colorless brush so you have to make sure you're using smudge brush and you just have to uh, blend these starting and end points of the hair strokes now create another layer right at the bottom right at the very bottom and take this airbrush again and fill out any gaps using the same base color you use to create the hair strokes so as it was lacking depth what i did is where i created the hair strokes in the initial steps i also added some dark looking hair strokes over that just to give the whole hairstyle or the whole thing depth so that you can do it too or if you want you can just skip this step but it's just totally up to you if you want to do it or not and now create another layer right at the very bottom again and this time what you want to do is you want to add really really thin hair strands around the edges of the hair now this will act now these hair strands will act as baby hairs that stick out your own hair so that's why you want to do it you want to make sure the edges aren't harsh at all so you do want to add these really thin and really light hair strokes around the whole hairstyle if you're painting a hairstyle and add those around the edges and it'll look good now you want to create a new layer and this layer is for highlighting and just to create that layer and you can use any brush that you like so i am using this brush as you can see the icon of the brush you can also use the glow brush if you want to i actually tried using it but i actually went back to the airbrush thing so i also use this really light color 
of the base color like really light version of the base color and i started adding highlights now you want to make sure you are adding highlights on the highest points now but the highest points i mean where you think the light should be hidden so you must make sure or you must keep in mind the light source that you have for your painting before you even go ahead and add highlights as for my painting i do not have any specific light source as such so i am actually randomly adding these highlights over the hair and you don't have to be perfect about it when you initially lay that down and once you lay it down you want to go back to the smudge brush and also make sure the opacity is really really low again just go over those highlights and blend those out now you want to blend those out in a hair stroke kind of shape so when you are blending the highlight out make sure you are doing it so as if you are creating a hair stroke i hope that is making sense that's how you want to blend the highlights now once done with that first step you want to go ahead again and add more highlights now this time make sure you're adding these little dots over the base of the highlight and you have to create the highlights layer by layer or i should say step by step here basically what i'm doing is i'm not only adding these little dots over the base of the highlights but i'm also adding some hair strokes around those highlights so that the highlights kind of look as if they are merging back with the whole hairstyle or the whole hair i hope that is making sense now once you have added those hair strokes all over the base of the highlights you want to make sure you are blending out the edges of the highlights or the hair strokes so that those are really nicely blending out with the whole hairstyle or the hair chunk or whatever you're painting hair for so i really hope that is making sense you guys and you can always adjust the opacity of the highlight if you think it's too much you can just lower the opacity down but that's how you actually add highlights over the hair so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's mini tutorial if you did give this video a big thumbs up and if you do create something out of this tutorial then tag me on instagram i would love to see your artwork other than that, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.